to Trash Talk. I'm Lane. I'm Derek. <laughs> John. John. <laughs> You're giggling for some <laughs> well, reason right away. Well, yeah, yeah, that's how I start the podcast like, you know, you off. Fucking shout at the damn thing. And yeah. Then I mean, that's the, that's, the, that's the part about being the host is you get to shout into the microphone right at the beginning. Welcome Let to the podcast. Out. Into a new studio. Thanks for having us over, Derek. Yes. Oh, I uh, dropped all my money onto one massive studio for us. Wow. Fuck that's yeah. great. Yeah, the, we, li- I, we live here now. I didn't realize a podcast was doing this well. You could buy your own dedicated studio. Yes. Amazing. There's a lot of things you don't know. There is a podcast. lot. I, 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 you like remember it. when we had the jar? <laughs> Let me know. God. What do you think we've been doing the last three months? <laughs> Selling the jar? That was seed money. It, it paid off, man. Yeah. It paid yeah, off. I guess so. Well, thanks for cutting Did me in. Did we ever settle on our, our official name? I think it was the uh, Shit Shat Jar. I just thought we were the All-American Jart Boys. <laughs> <laughs> You got all American, American jar checks. Well, if, 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 it's, if, it's, if, it's, if it's in a mason jar, it has to be all American. That'll sell like boom. Well, right? yeah, that's that's yeah, jar. Right. That was always all the plan. American. Problem is, if it's red, white, and blue, if there's red inside the jar, red, that's white, a and problem. poo. Yeah, it's more... oh! <laughs> that's our Fourth of July mar- scent mar- coming out. Yeah. Yeah. This the special of marketing the month. genius over here. Damn. I- <laughs> I'm kind of ashamed. I didn't think of that. I, mean, I was thinking about blood farts, and you was talking about poop. Come no, on, no, it's it's always blood poop. Farts. It's always been about man. the little speckles of poo in there. Man, I, I guess I lost sight of the goal, man. So anyway, I got a, I, I got a big head about it. I got <laughs> distracted. I didn't <laughs> I forgot what life is about. <laughs> well, God. let me let me remind listeners what life is about. Go ahead and email email us at trash talk omaha or G- email us email us at trash talk <laughs> omaha at it. gmail.com tell us why you're crying tell us uh, if you're interested in the red white and poo or make us cry shirt jar um, and we'll get back to you on now, how you now can get it's one. red white and poo just the, uh, the uh, it's just the monthly special, special yeah, yeah, so, yeah, month. yeah. so well, you, you can still get our regular jarts still inquire oh, about okay. the regular jarts all the time okay. it's their special trash talk. homemade nose flavors all american jar boys now you do something with like uh like special stuff like wagyu farts. Oh, you know? so on so our jar though, we, we tell every, every what jar. The last meal yeah, you had every jar has the last meal. Right. It has the name so on the jar. Do, like, if you want a person that, shitting, you can do that. Themselves. Fart in a jar, and we'll take a picture of you. So you're gonna do like a and you name it whatever you want to. This name. is like, actually recommended to be like, on the like podcast. A local, like a local, you know, local restaurant. Like this, if you hear this, is what your farts gonna smell like. Oh, you, you could the, no, the local flavor. It's only one jar. Whatever jar is unique. Get it. Flavor. You have to have a right. lot of jars, though. Well, that's why we're going to have And a, every uh, jar is unique because well, every pastry. person mixed with the meal is different, well, I mean, too. It's you also, know? Well, I mean, it is, a, it is artisan, handmade. Oh, Everyone for loves sure. their own brand. Jar they're they're hand blown. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's like, See? it's art. Oh, like you got butt blown. <laughs> butt blown. <laughs> In intestines. So, yeah, I'm glad, glad we started the new podcast off in a new space with a new jar. Special. Sure, sure would like Kane to be here for this. Jeez. What yeah. An that, would be, that would have been nice, but yeah, it's okay. Kind you know, dork has a pregnant wife has to go to the hospital. Psh, lame. Yeah. Not me. Yeah, not me. That's right. Yeah. Oh, that was me lame. neither. Not you. Not me. Yeah. Can't reach you. Okay. Got it. So. <laughs> you need your short arms. Yeah, T Rex over there. No, don't be making fun of my arms. Too. He makes up for it with his long, long leader, I assume. Or his wrestling moves. Yeah. Mm. Don't don't let. Don't it's all let, about that leverage. <laughs> don't get stuck on the mat. Be on top. <laughs> Is that a threat or a advice? It's a I'm promise. Sure. Are you instructing me or threatening me? I'm not. It's an invite, really. Oh. Okay. Yeah. It's kind of like a. It's kind of like a slap, a glove slap, dual. Okay. On all Cha- fours in the match. Challenging. Here, challenge. So wrestle. A, a dual challenge. Yeah, interesting. Really. Interesting. What's the? Uh, Wish that was still a thing, right? Dueling yeah. people. Yeah. Like, everyone's had that person oh, at work. Oh yeah. You want to oh, duel, dude? There are a lot of things that. Choose your sh- weapon, sir. Should have. I pick rusty spoons. <laughs> oh, in my office it would be I pick keyboard. What like well, typing like, someone to death? Well, if your office, oh, like, you beat them over the head with well, the keyboard. If you're dueling oh. with what you ha- do for work, yeah. Oh, man, or you get okay, the mouse okay. And I get that. Cord on oh it. God. Ooh, that that would suck. Yeah. A mouse keyboard. You also got the staple double right handed. Now do you? Now does it have to be? Oh, so it's like you get a effect. desk in between you, and it's like Olympics. Like now, does it have to be kill each other? <laughs> does it have to be weapons from your profession? <laughs> or, <laughs> or the or the keys cable guy? Or it has to. I'm aware of this. <laughs> or does it have to be like the workplace? Like say, 
So say if I, I, I do power washing and you work do computer Office. work. So is it you and a keyboard versus me with a power washer? No, at that point in time, I would find something I could compete I with think, in the office. I think he has to washer. only challenge office people. Yeah, I was to say. I mean, you can I mean, only we challenge do have like an office girl. Dump I could people. use it as a shield. Hmm. Get the lid. Hmm. Yeah. No, this is not fair. Right. That's what I'm asking. Because also, if you're like a roofer, you have a fucking nail gun. Yeah, exactly. I think I think construction trades are you know? uh, it's a free for all. Construction trades. Yeah. Like send painters, you know, after a fucking carpenter. Yeah. Be it's hilarious. Like stethoscope versus backhoe. That'd be a good, good fight. Yeah, Sorry. I I'm choose the back Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We have a large office printer on wheels. We could wheel that outside and use it as a shield and charge you with it. Can you Xerox some copies? A lot too. Can you copy? Make some well, copies? Yeah, I can just control the two or get tip over. But if he's you can crush, you can crush, crush, crush someone to death with it. I mean, mm. at least an ant. Actually, yeah, it'd probably... Those, those are fucking heavy, though. I don't know if you can get it outside. You don't think Honestly. there's any other weapons around your office besides just a printer? I mean, I go for a pen. Yeah, you could kill someone I mean, some point. Yeah, yeah. Like a ruler I mean, or something, you know? Technically, there's some stuff going on yeah. in our office right now. I can maybe get one of the forklift guys. No, not, so no, 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 no. You're, no. Well, that's why I didn't say it before, but you said there could be it's other things. Office. So that's, that's there that's that's now. Office. That's in the warehouse or something. Right. What if there's like somebody at a bar who slights you by you work on the bumping your elbow? Now. It's there. Then you got to you know, challenge that guy to a duel. Like, well, then what? To, to tell you the truth, it's whoever challenges the person to the weapon and says, choose your weapons, you know, and they get to choose. Well, what weapons so, are and then, and then you both get that weapon. So if someone chooses a forklift, you get to be on a forklift. You know, uh, if someone chooses for, office supplies, jousting. you also get to be on an office. This is why I can never supplies. have money because I want to do or a CDL. Do jousting. Yeah, I don't. I don't think forklift jousting would end well. I uh, right. That's why it's a good thing I don't have any money. Yeah, for forklifts. My forklift <laughs> I have budget seen is a video of you tipping, tipping a, mo- or a mower. I didn't tip it. I flipped it over backwards because I'm badass. Okay, because it's big dog. I mean, it's. What's the it difference? was pretty fucking bad. Age. What's the difference? Tipping is sideways. Yeah, sideways. Flipping is backwards. Because backwards is when you bruise your tailbone. That's why it's bad. Did you bruise your tailbone? Yeah, I did. It fucking hurt. Wow. <laughs> I still a little sore. Because not just your weight, but the lawnmower weight fell on your tailbone. No, I just like slammed because I hit the hit the. Because you did it so ab- ab- <laughs> abrasively. <laughs> yeah, it didn't just go. Didn't tilt over. It slammed because I hit forward while I was tilting backwards. Anyway, it was pretty sweet. <clears throat> It was impressive. I thought it was pretty cool. You know, yeah. Well, sometimes of course pretty... I got the, I got the yips though when I was riding my dirt bike. Sometimes every time just pretty cool. Ed, every time the friend would come up now on my dirt bike, I'm like, ha, ah, because I'm like I got the yips now. Like, really? I looped, you know, the like keyboard. Oh no, you know. You can't do a single wheelie. Well, no, I mean, I mean, that, like, without... I first got on it, you know, because I hadn't ridden my bike since I flipped my flipped the tractor. Okay. You know, so, <laughs> so I was like, ah, in the parking lot. <laughs> it was kind of funny. Well, so you have the lawnmower tractor. Yeah. yeah. Why don't you just like demolition derby that thing? Because it was fucking expensive. It's real nice. Yeah. They have that yard. though. They have demolition derby I'm sure lawnmowers. They... Yeah, I don't think they do. They do. No. Yeah, I know they do. Mm, yep. No, it'd be dangerous. They have lawnmower races. Races, yeah. Races demo, and, no. and demolition derby. for sure. Like, no. Lawnmower demolition no. derby? No, yes, dude. Uh, they can't have blades no on them. No, of well, no, course they don't have blades. Like, they don't have blades when they're like, torn off or something. They don't yeah. have blades when they're yeah. running. No, no so they have roll cages. Yeah, but like smash around. Like that's not. No, no, they don't. Google it right now. They do not have lawnmower, lawnmower demo derbies. What do you call this? He, demolition lawnmower demolition derbies. No, there's no. I'm pretty sure you can't. And then like, I mean, nothing like sanctioned. Hank Hill gets the fair. little butts. Oh my god, yeah, they finished yeah, piping the it. They came in up. Oh my god. Yes, I told you. You can't. This is real. Yes, it doesn't seem safe, but they have it. Right. I mean, do you like? Do you want broken ankles? That's how you get broken ankles. It is definitely how you're gonna get. A bro- they got like. There's whole oh whatever. lawnmower demo derby rules right county fair. <laughs> oh, it is for this year at the end of July. Right wow. county fair. July we could we could fair the twenty fifth hundred and fiftieth year. <laughs> Jesus. Well, shit. Well, <laughs> we could go get your lawnmower in the demolition dry, derby. Not demoing that lawnmower. Oh. It's nice. All right. We could be your we could be your crew. It's like though. it's like a year old. I just want to like go out there with track. like a little welder, you know, pretend like we're working on it. First place, three hundred dollars in a trophy. Dude, Come in, let's do it. Dollars in a trophy. <laughs> Third place. Third place. No trophy, but a hundred dollars. Third place. Is the There's probably place. like three people that are. are it goes oh, on no. for twenty minutes no. max, or unless the judges uh, decide that there's. A super aggressive hitter, and they just award them the win. Oh, oh so you can just put so them. Everybody's gonna be too super many aggressive. people are dead. Or what if you had like a, a, 
like battle last bots. mower things and on it or it's two. last mower or more <laughs> most aggressive hit. what if it was like a battle bot you gotta ride you know what i mean you're talking about killing people <laughs> on semi-robotic yeah well, now, it's called like death race yeah, or something 2000 now, if I, I think any confidence whatsoever that you could do something build something like that i would come to you during the apocalypse but i know you have no fucking way I mean, you can't do that i could weld Okay, I got a couple of electronic can you, skills. Can you build? I can make. A, I can make a fucking limbs like an a, arm. Yeah, and, maybe. And Give me a fucking junkyard and some time for sure. Zol. Nah, ten minutes or now. Well, well, we'll be right back. Welcome back. Back from break. Welcome back. We're gonna do another uh, red label. Derek, please don't do that uh, yeah, whole. Please. Don't, no, don't do all that. Don't that asshole. Don't. Anyway, what were we talking Your about? Dogs like you guys, don't do it. Do you guys remember what we were talking about? It doesn't matter. Back for Brexit, it's something else. What do you got in the list? Brexit? Is that what you said? It said it's something else. What's something on the list? Breakfast and tells. I love breakfast. It's my uh, yeah, I have we, something. We talked about breakfast at length a couple of months ago. At least. What is what is the uh, slip and slide? Oh boy. Is that a sex move or like an actual what a slip and slide is? Let me tell you about it. Hold on, is your dog okay? That is a horrible sound. You're probably making a terrible sound. <coughs> Oh, there goes those nice cost headphones. Hold on. Hello? Don't yell at the mic. Ah, I just did it. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Oh, that fucking sucked. God damn. Ow, oh, that hurt. Well, I think we're just going to cut all that out because... Oh, that... Derek, will you explain to me what a s- explosive slip and slide is? Oh, wait. Okay, hold on. Are we still guessing, though? Because I, I... Oh, yeah, yes. What is your you guess? Wait, Explosive? That's what he put in the notes. Explosive. Explosivo. Explosivo. Obviously, it's not a regular slip and slide because it's on the fucking list. It's, uh, it's something with diarrhea. Things. It has something to do with diarrhea. It is an actual slip and slide. Okay. Oh, did someone have diarrhea on the hey, slip and slide? Hi. What? Oh, hi. So, th- does this latch not work on the floor? <laughs> Well, no, 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 do not do that. This, this whole, this, this doorknob sounds like Dundee looks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I had a, I, oh, wait, okay. No, 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 we're slip sliding here. Yeah. All right. Um, so, well, 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 no, let's go slip and slide. What do you think it what is, What I've known as a slip and slide is when uh, the lady is freshly shorn and then it's all wet and slippery down there. That's how I know what slip and slide is. <laughs> it's not original. That's not original. That's not original. No, I've never I heard that before. I just heard that one time. I have never heard that before. From a dude. You slip and go slip and slide? He's like, yeah, dude, slip and slide this weekend. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Where? I want in. He's like, you don't know what I'm talking about. He has no clue. I didn't know what he was talking about. I didn't know what he was talking about. He's just going with his girlfriend. I was like, fuck yeah, let's go. I am in college. You know, yeah, you were you know? invited. Yeah, I was like, fuck yeah. And he's like, no, dude. It's like, like you're fucking drunk. Yeah, it's like, no, she just like, I'm like, well, I'm definitely in now. I mean, <laughs> so am I still coming or what? Yeah. Yeah. But was it explosive? Explosivo? Well, I have a story about that, but I'll tell that later. And sloshy um, is the better word there, it sounds Sloshy? Like. So basically someone crapped themselves on a slip slide, it sounds like. Uh, no, not just no, no, someone. No. Oh. Everyone. There was what? an outbreak. They drank the water. Of something called Gerardia. Oh, Giardia. 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 Okay. Thank you. Microscopic parasite that can cause diarrheal disease if swallowed. What? Multiple people tested positive, and it was as messy as you thought it was, or you think it is. Jesus. That's Montezuma's revenge, I think. That's how much. Seriously, the real disease. This was something that was supposed to happen on a new TV show on NBC called Slip and Slide. Was it and in South America? This happened on the premiere. What? Okay, first off, how fucking lazy are we? We have a show called Slip and Slide. Also, when I want to watch it, but it's, it didn't work apparently. Holy shit! I mean that. Yeah, a major TV show on the premiere. Everybody gets diarrhea down the slide, and they have to close production. Wait, wait, not even that. I don't it understand. Was were they all just 40, like waiting? Was 40 waiting? crew members were ultimately well, affected by the okay, parasite. They weren't like going down the slide. Like there wasn't a dookie shoot, was there? I no. I was saying, like, everybody just like sit in line holding it, just like wait for it, and comedy. Oh, you know what? Ron <laughs> Funches hosts it. <laughs> oh, no shit. Who's Ron yeah. Funches? Oh, that's awesome. Ron Funches. You'd probably recognize him. A black comedian? Scroll, scroll down on that uh, on that thingy. Oh, like yeah. Ron Funches and Bobby Moynihan. From SNL. Really? Oh, she's playing Oh, I dude. I don't know what his oh, name is. I wonder if that was planned then. I wonder if they did that on purpose. So, yeah, I mean, I'm sure that's going to, like... I don't know. Blend into you, their uh, first episode or whatever. That sucks. I'm trying to. I'm trying to figure out now. Is this news or is this an ad 
for the oh. next show. Come watch the show where he gets diarrhea. <laughs> I, I, exactly. That, that makes it a lot more interesting. Hey, I read diarrhea and I was like, that's news. Right. Ultimate Slip Inside <laughs> is the show, I think. Series was originally scheduled to wrap on June 11th. Yeah, so we need a whole lot of shut, you know, schedule for that because it's just a fucking slip and slide. <laughs> I'm sure there's something about the show that's worth watching. What, what was oh, the yeah. name of this I'm the sorry, disease? Maybe somebody shitty themselves. <laughs> <and slide. laughs> I mean, I think that, that, that's it. Like that, you've reached the ultimate goal for slip side show of shitting down the slip and slide. What did you guys call it though? Giardia or whatever. It's, it's either Giardia or Giardia, but it's it's what happens when water stagnates. It's also get to Kawasaki and Legionnaires. Oh man, did they have like some little amusement park thing set up a stagnant water, and then they were yeah, the Giardia. Hey, get in the water, and everybody got sick. Pretty much. Jesus. So Christ. Gard Gardia Gar- G I A R D I A Giardia Giardia is a tiny parasite germ that causes the diarrheal disease Gardias. This diarrhea. Yeah. <clears throat> you wow. can get Gardias if you swallow Gardia germs. <laughs> oh, stop saying Gardia, you fucker. <laughs> well, someone asked Giardia. You, what does Gardia poop, stop, poop look Gardia. like? Gardia. Giardia. Like Giardia. Giardia? Or Giardia, like whichever one. The Chronicles of Giardia? Yes. <laughs> Ask the land the returns. <laughs> the Land, the Witch, and the... Oh, God! <laughs> okay. So, the Land, uh, the Witch, and the fucking... The, spackling. the stool may range from soft to watery, often has a greenish tinge to it, and occasionally contains blood. Infected dogs tend to have excess mucus in their feces. Vomiting may occur in some cases. The signs may persist for several weeks. Gradual weight loss may become apparent. So, I was gonna say. I was about to say. I think I have Giardia, that, except the whole weight loss part. I was gonna say this is a good way to lose weight, right? Apparently, man. Yeah, <laughs> get yourself some, your brains out. Get yourself some Giardia. So He's, Jesus Christ! I can't say words, man. You just said you could read better than me. Chronicles of Giardia. 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 I don't know why I add extra syllables to things. It's okay. You're it's not fine. adding. You're taking a Giardia. Giardia. Jesus, dude. Are you fucking with me right now? No, no, no. What's the oh, next topic, Jared? Alright, alright. You guys want a local story or something more hopeful? <laughs> That's a hell of a lead in. <laughs> oh, jeez. Do you have two stories? Oh, you got plenty of stories, but the next two. So let's do worse. local. Let's get the bad local. out of the way. Since he said, okay, yeah. something's bad. Psychotic sex fiend kidnaps Nebraska woman. What? Yeah, and I think a guy from, I don't know if he, where he was from, I think the lady was kidnapped in, in Nebraska from here, and he drove all the way up to, I believe, somewhere in South Dakota. So, blast in the past. Woman recovers wallet. She lost. Oh, the link is now broken. Oh, that sucks. Well, it's a good... What did you just turn down? Nothing. Who'd you turn? Well, a lady, at least from <laughs> Omaha, was kidnapped, or from Nebraska. Take it up to South Dakota. Are you sure about this? Yes. No, I want to call bullshit now. I mean, like... What? He's Why? Po- That's a completely plausible thing to happen. Why would that be bullshit? I think I copied and well, pasted like, the wrong... article doesn't work. <laughs> I copied and pasted the wrong article. The other article is a local story from KETV called Blast in the Past. Woman recovers wallet she lost 46 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was very confused about that. Yeah, me too. It took me a second to recover was mentally. It, was it in her recliner? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no. Let's this find out. All time. No, seriously. I, uh, I broke. I broke my parents' recliners because, come on. And so I went to go weld it, and I started taking it apart, and a wallet fell out from 1985. That was my godfather's wallet. Jesus. And this was like 10 years ago, I think. I'm like, I call it. Like, Frank, I found your wallet. He's like, the fuck. I'm like, he's in San Francisco. I'm like, I found your wallet. <laughs> Did he remember even losing it? Oh yeah. Huh. I've lost my wallet before. It sucks. So oh, this sucks. wallet was found in a crawl space, and it was a California uh, driver's license, no cash in it. The person that found it here locally tried to track down the person whose it was, and it sounds like there's a reunion story at the end. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's wow. Read it. I don't want to feel, yeah, feel I mean, good today. You've, te- you've teased us with the feel-good want- story. Let's hear the blast from the past already. <laughs> Since some lady got kidnapped and we don't even get to hear about that, right? All right, all right. Let me see if maybe I can... Uh... I, don't, I don't come here with feel-good stories. I come here to try to look at someone's dick, okay? That's not happening today, though. That's here, we're going to search for that decide. story title I came <laughs> up with. 
I don't like not having the TV. Vampire yeah, truck yeah, driver. I agree with that. I agree out. with that. We need a monitor for sure to share a screen. Because I even have an HDMI switcher, so I could like switch screens. Oh, that's good. Yeah. So do you want that TV or not? I have a really Bring really it over. Heavy. Yeah. Did you see that TV in the corner? <clears throat> yeah. He doesn't care about TVs sitting around here, apparently. Bring it over. I got no, I got my TV. I got to so get, get, get him out. Well, I got to get a new TV anyway, so. Okay. Well, I got to get one. Run this Oh, here it is. Get a VHS. He can play it. In that TV. There a VHS porn? Yeah. Oh, that's a whole other, that's a <laughs> can that's a can of worms. That's, a, that's, the, that's oh, another oh, podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did that podcast. Really. All right. Twenty year old yeah, man never not talk about it. was hiding in the backseat of a Nebraska woman and he used zip ties and duct tape and homemade chloroform oh, so we're back to, to imprison sad. and storage her in a shed at his home. Jesus Christ. Hey, shed. Yeah. Hey, wait a second. I have a shed. What about <laughs> What about the wall? Yeah, no, yeah. We went <laughs> from like, oh, to... They were reunited. Oh, to, uh. They found the person through social media. That's uh, it? Lots of people okay. shared the post. And that was it? Did they say why their wallet was in the attic? The crawl space? Yeah. That, was that... We were that was that the story? Too many questions. That was a pretty different, lame ending Different today. topics here. Um, so this person was at a house. He said he remembers calling the next day when he realized it was gone. They said no one found it but to call back. Uh, he said he had a little money in it. Uh, but she needed it at the time. Although when this lady recovered it, the local person, uh, there was no money in it. So it sounds like this family mm-hmm. took the money, ditched the wallet, and didn't want to be like, "Oh, sorry, we took the yeah. money, so we just hide it." Yeah, yeah. yeah. Threw well, it in the crawl space. And that could have happened like thirty years ago, though, too. Yeah, yeah. So great. Well, answer solved. Yes, I mean, answer solved. What? <laughs> I think that's backwards. <laughs> Problem. <sighs> Still existing. <laughs> Stand by what I said, okay? If you guys have an issue with it, go ahead and email us, uh, trashtalkomaha.com. <laughs> Gmail's in there somewhere. You have just one guy that emails you like, all right, you guys <laughs> fucked up this time. Your phonetics suck, bro. <laughs> yeah, we do, okay? And he's a real dick. Just someone's like, it's pronounced Giardia. <laughs> LaGuardia? <laughs> Chronicles of LaGuardia? <laughs> this is Giuliani as the evil person. <laughs> <laughs> John gets it. That's good. Yes. Uh, so okay. yes, I'm, uh, uh, okay. Iowa man kidnaps oh, yeah. a woman with homemade chloroform after hiding in the back of her car. He was going to stuff her into a storage unit in the back of his house. It sounds like uh, this was reported by the Sioux City Journal, and he got charges of third degree kidnapping, false imprisonment, and two counts of assault. Third? How, what do you have to do for first? Good God! Just like a like a thought. Uh, I think he got busted before he was managed to like store her in a storage unit. Yeah, but you're still taking someone off the street, or you know, you're moving someone against their will. So, like, like is it like murder? Where first is like caught and you premeditated? Sorry, <clears throat> where first is like it premeditated? was premeditated. So that's he how is it all third degree? Because I mean, you don't just make chloroform to hang third out of your house. Is actually like <clears throat> pulling on the act or whatever. No, third degree is on accident. A like third degree murder is like if we get into a fight and I kill you, that's third degree murder. It's not premeditated; it's an accident. Oh, really? It's also yeah. called manslaughter. Okay, that's that, that's why the difference between manslaughter what and murder. Is, what, no, yeah. I don't know that difference. Well, like manslaughter, can you, is like can a you inform the audience? Because I know, but the audience doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> what is what is the difference between murder and manslaughter? Well, uh, manslaughter is like if, he, if I hit you with my car. Okay, that's manslaughter. Yeah. It was an accident. It was an accident, yeah. Accident, yeah. yeah. But, See, I didn't mean to kill you. But if you piss me off because you left me off and I swerve into you, that's, that's third-degree murder. Ah. If I see you walk down the street <laughs> and I'm waiting for you to walk down that street because that son of a bitch, you sure to be on my taco run. Preemptive And that's when I go, there he is, I'm going to get him. Pre-murder. And that, preemptive. Yes, pre-murder. Preemptive. Yes, yes, pre-murder, yes. <laughs> that's pre-murder when t- is sitting in your that's car. That's what the precogs bust you on. Yeah, that's yeah. when Tom Cruise shows yeah. up and yeah. says, you've committed a crime in the future, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, that's what he says. The fire. <laughs> he also turns into Samuel Jackson. Yeah, I, say. Yeah, I haven't seen the movie in a while, but I do remember that part. Uh, but that, that's the yeah, so first degree is premeditated. So okay, yeah. who puts this motherfucking second, snake second in my motherfucking so, murder? Second degree? I fucking no idea. <laughs> I don't know. So what did this person degree. get charged with? Second degree? Third degree? Third degree? Kidnapping. So this lady so they, though, like, she was reported kidnapped? missing immediately when somebody found her abandoned purse and cell phone, and they tracked the guy down pretty quickly after that. So he was an idiot. Always kind of take idiot. the purse. They, so he was apparently looking up like how to kidnap a woman and get away with it. But what a, uh, he forgot a lot of shit. Like you know, hey, pick same, up her phone on, and get on. her is purse. It, it's not the kid. If you, not the kid. If he was googling it, 
Is it the same as an autistic kid? No, it's, no, not, it's not the, the same, same guy. No, it's not the same no. kid. Oh, it isn't? No. Oh, good. Negative. Because the joke doesn't work. Exactly. What the fuck, dude? <sighs> it could be the same kid. You know kid. what I'm saying? No, well, have they the found that kid? That was, the dog's a, in that the was door. a Nebraska kid. This no. is an Iowa man. Right? I don't know. Yeah, if the dog's in the door open because it's getting hot in here. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Did they find that kid? No. Still gone. No, he's, he's still gone. Still... That was like a month ago. Mm-hmm. Yeah, dude. This kid is either smart or dead. <laughs> I mean, he's I autistic. Mean, so he's either so... smart or dead. All right. All right. I mean, I think he's probably both, right? Huh? I mean, it's Maybe dead, dead on the inside. I think if he died, they'd find his body. Oh, excuse me. I think he's still alive. They could be raping the body. Yo, who? What the he fuck? He did a bunch of research, supposedly. Man. But also, research? He yeah, Googled So it I once. heard through a grapevine that the parents might be suspected, specifically the mom. Um, there was some the grapes shit going about on that? that was a little bit weird. But I think that this might be one of those, like, where a mom keeps her kids sick. This kid oh. had escaped a bunch from the house beforehand. And I think that maybe she's like doing it. She's. Uh, I don't know what the uh, evidence was on that, that, but shit. What's that called? Um, it's got like a phobia. Yeah. No. No. Uh, it's not yes. a phobia. No, but. Phobia. phobia. Um, An ism. Damn it! What is that? Um, gosh, shit! I blanked on it. But yeah. Thank you for your contribution to the conversation. Thank you very much. I'm glad to help. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Not, I'll look it up for you. Stockholm. The Stockholm was the no. The Munchensen syndrome. Munchausen. Oh, Munchausen. God damn. <clears throat> God damn, dude. Munchensen. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> What'd you say? Munchausen. 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 You're right. Yeah. Sure. Okay. What's what the fuck? Sure. I'm not even sure. That I can mispronounce what it Show is that you mispronounced. Munchenhausen. Munchen. Munchenism. You know what? I, I, fuck it. Okay. I'm not even going to dig into that with you. God damn it. What is, what is, how do you say it? It's Munchausen. Yeah. Munchausen syndrome. Like Millhouse, but Is a mental health it, problem it, it, in which a caregiver makes up or causes an illness or injury in a person under his or her care. So there's a child or an elderly person who has a disability. I was going to draw a dick on it, but I don't know if you're going to show anybody else. I want to. Oh, I thought you wanted to go to a commercial. What? Oh, shit. <laughs> Hey, yeah, 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 let's go to a what's, commercial. What's an ad spot cost on this hey, bitch? Hey, Derek. Hey, you know what I've always wanted to get? <laughs> the front of my house pressure washed. But I don't know anyone. I don't know, I don't know anyone either. <laughs> what do we do? What? Gene, our home services with John Reddick, 402-980-1549. Who that? <laughs> I think it's John Reddick, the guy on the show right now. Oh, shit. He'll show up and clean my house for me? Blame yourself, fool. <laughs> I don't think he can talk about. Oh, no, I, don't think, I don't think he can explain Sorry, himself. The, the, when you screamed at Huda, just fucking. <laughs> oh fuck! Who that? Oh Christ! Who that motherfucker? Oh God! Who <laughs> about these motherfucking stinks? Who that motherfucker? Pressure washer. I don't know if I just want any motherfucker just showing up and pressure washing my house. So besides saying horrible things about uh, dead children, I do uh, power washing and trash bin cleaning. <laughs> He's also six six, and he'll give you a big old hug. Sure. How much does it cost, no cost. to no wash, cost out, to... wash out my uh, trash cans? Trash can, $15 a month for two bins. $50 a month. $15, $15. Cheaper 15 Cheaper than Netflix. Wow. To, to wash my trash bins. Yeah. Do you, do now, you... now, it's not as entertaining as Netflix, but uh, it also uh, won't give you, you know, bacteria but and I viruses. But I can watch you. Oh, you wash my No more steak on the bins. It's pretty entertaining, oh, yeah. probably. Yeah. All right, cool. It's loud, lots of steam. And, and what's that contact information again? That's uh, John Reddick, 402-980-1549. He's right. That is the number on the card. <laughs> GRHomeservices.group.com. What if I don't want to talk? Facebook what if I don't want to talk to anyone in person? How do I? How do I contact you? GRHomeservicesgroup.com. Follow the link to the sign-up sheet, and you'll get an email saying, "Welcome." Wow, that's not simple. to be confused that's with simple. .com. That's his other website. There you that's, go. that's true. Actually, I should register that. Make sure you like and subscribe. GRHomeservices.com. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Funny enough, I actually found I was able to get the uh, sub, the domain grhsg.com so I can put that instead of this long freaking URL. I get the short one grhsg that goes straight to my like it reroutes. Anyway, getting technical. Don't worry about it. Okay. Anyway, dead kids. All right, back back to the podcast. What do you do if you feel like your parents are munching his house and Munch- syndrome? Jesus. <laughs> Yo. you, you Google how yeah, to fuck typically it happens to a little kid, and they're probably kind of underwear <laughs> yeah. underwear underwear. Unaware, <laughs> you Google how to get the fuck on. out. That's that, that, that's a smart. Okay, you Google so how he, the cops. So he how is do you smart. avoid the cops? So there, boom, there, he is smart. Yeah, I think we answered the, the, it all Whoa. for you. Whoa, dude, Whoa. Google's listening to you. 
close attention to a child's or children's experiences and problems, particularly at educational <laughs> institutions. Jesus. I didn't ask. Thanks, wow. Google. Thank, thank you. you. Can you? Yeah, shut when that, you say why thank are we you? thanking? I was like, hey, thanks for listening. Can you, you shut that up and never let it do that again? Dude, yeah. You know, I hate like when I, when I say thank you. I, I hate want to say you're welcome. I want I want the robots to know I'm on their team. Hard to say, no problem. When they're when they uprise, I want to know. I that got I got you, John Reddick. You power wash my insides, and I will take care of you. That's not what they say. You don't want them to what your mom said. Boom. No, ah, comedy. All right. Well done. All right. And the good news. Oh, right. Scientists discover plastic eating caterpillars. What? Yep. Why don't they have the bacteria? But caterpillars, that's pretty sick. Yeah. Uh, hungry do caterpillars they turn into a could butterfly? be the catalyst of the world needs to fight plastic pollution. Plast- yeah, but, yeah, but they, okay, they turn a butterfly, but then the wing's plastic. Next thing they got plastic butterfly oh, wings. Oh, plastic, plastic wings. Yeah, so, it's, so you're just recycling the litter. It's a, it's a larvae of a certain caterpillar that actually eats uh, beeswax, and they have found that it's also able to break down plastic and survive. So and if thrive. they just feed it plastic, it'll survive. Eat this bottle. So. It doesn't Here. talk about necessarily if they're like mixing or blending like its diet, but plastic. No. Is, they'll, huh. They did set a bunch of them in a pile of like recycled plastic. See what would happen. And now, can they, they swim? survived and became butterflies. Can life, they swim? Life is plastic. It's a caterpillar. Let's get, this, let's get let's let's genetically engineer one that can swim and then just dump them in the ocean. Huh? Huh? Ah. Is that butterflies coming out of the ocean? Maybe if you would be awesome. <laughs> maybe if you had like a little platform then to float on or whatever, and you just like what if all the butterflies took over and it? created more hurricanes with the butterfly the hurricane? Dude, the oh, butterfly that's, hurricane. That's a Zappa yeah. song right there. Butterfly hurricane. That is Boom. for sure. Or at least like a my chemical of, romance. Yeah, it's like a Sharknado. Oh, butterfly spin-off. hurricane. I'm gonna, I'm write, gonna, write it down. Write that down. You're, I, 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 I tell you what. Did we just name the podcast Butterfly Hurricane? That's actually that's not bad. Did I tell you guys about uh, the Zappa game? Fly I'm away. Sure Did you know 12.7 million tons of plastic ends up in the world's oceans every year? <clears throat> yes. So what if what about what if you uh, ate one of these caterpillars? Could they could they eat the plastic the debit card that you shit out a month? Or is that a week? That's Once a week. week. Once yeah. a week. The plastic, human debit card. The average human on this planet eats enough plastic to make a debit card every so, week. So if you ate that caterpillar, could he eat the debit card for you that you're eating? Maybe if you added them into your intestinal tract and allowed it to symbiote, symbiotic relationship with you. Yeah, something like that. Okay, cool. It would just emote. Can we talk about Subway yet? They need to burp up a butterfly one day. <laughs> <laughs> Fly away. This butterfly is not meant to fly. Fart a butterfly. Come on, guys. Can we talk about Subway? <clears throat> what? All right. That's your story. Bring it up. Do you like tuna sandwiches? No. I well, not right it. now, it sounds like. <laughs> it sounds like I shouldn't. But do I you? Mayonnaise. Have you before? Oh, I, 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 I do enjoy it. I, I, hey, from, Subway. Hey, I like mayonnaise, all right? Okay. That, it has tuna, the word man in tuna it. Tuna and mayonnaise are completely different. Are they mixed together at Subway for a delicious meal? Yeah, I, I like a vehicle to hold my mayonnaise together. Tuna. And not be a weirdo. You eat a lot of eating... tuna? I'm just curious. I'm curious. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love tuna. Okay. Do you think it's dolphin-free? I don't care. Don't care. Do you think that, that tuna is real tuna? I, I don't care. Do you think that's air you're breathing? It ta- <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> it ta- it, 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 it tastes like... Tuna. <clears throat> well, scientists have <clears throat> tested the tuna at Subway. Yeah, they did. found that it tastes... That it tastes it contains, zero DNA. It contains zero tuna DNA. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> yeah. Well, I've never eaten, I don't eat Subway tuna. Hey, so you can tune a piano, but you can't tune a fish. <laughs> That's so fucking now, dumb. Now, well, now, hold on. Now, it's, it's, not yours. The story, it's not yours, though. though. It's hold not on. yours. Now was, it, now, was it actual a, a government entity or some guy like, I got to test this like, tuna? Like government no. cheese? Just, yeah. So we just, no, hold on. Or is it just like a guy like me? He's like, I got to test your tuna. He just walks behind there just eating the spoon. Nope, not yet. Okay, nope, appar- not yet. Apparently, it was a New York Times uh, oh. expose. Yeah. So the liberal media. <laughs> no, there's like a, a lawsuit that's going on that someone <laughs> sued Subway about the sandwiches. If I could do an Alex Jones voice, I would do it because like they're look- turning the tuna guy. Tuna. <laughs> Settle I gotta work up like a, gotta work up on Alex Jones. I can't do it. I'll, I'll hurt my neck. So what do you think Subway says about the tuna? <laughs> something in my neck. What do you think Subway says about the? They probably say um, something no, like, "No, it's tuna." Yeah, they say exactly. We've caught a hundred percent. I mean, wild caught cooked tuna. Do they say that? Wild in their, caught. Wild I caught. I don't. 
mixed with mayonnaise to make used s- in freshly made sandwiches well, see, the wraps mayonnaise, and salads. The, the mayonnaise DNA negates the tuna DNA. We're not talking about mayonnaise DNA because that's a whole other can that's of fucking eggs. mayonnaise right there. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Damn, so I hate how good that was, how subtle it was. It kind of pisses me off. I didn't think of it earlier. It's okay, Shut man. Up, dog. I mean, there's different kinds of tuna too. So they did say this: a commercial food testing lab analyzed more than 60 inches of Subway tuna sandwiches. 60 I'll give inches you six from inches three test, different okay? Subway locations, specifically in Los Angeles. It found that quote. No amplifiable tuna DNA was present in the sample. What the fuck? Amplifiable tuna DNA? So they couldn't even like but find that's, now that's not a microscopic song. pieces of tuna DNA. Damn, that's crazy. That's a zappa song. But it's also cooked. The lab said this could mean one of two things. Either there's no tuna in the sandwiches or whatever tuna is being used is so overly processed the lab couldn't make an identification. I would hazard a guess that taking tuna and diluting it with like cod or white some sort of white well, fish that's a bunch of probably, it's it's probably like the not chicken even, and make their nuggets and stuff. It's probably not even something that Subway is doing. It's probably whoever Subway is buying the tuna from. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Got the, got, got, the, got the number of that guy? <laughs> I don't have Subway's tuna guy's number. Damn. Uh, but that, that would actually kind of make sense though if they're mixing it, you know, Diluting it, you know, cutting it, stomp, stepping on it, stepping on it with that dirty cod. Quit stepping on my fucking tuna subway. You know, they, you, you cut cocaine with baby powder. Weren't they feeding? Why are you stomping fucking, on my cod like that, bro? <laughs> weren't they feeding us yoga mats a couple years ago with the bread? Uh, that, that was in the seventies that saw this. No, it, no, 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 no. This was like a couple years ago. They found there was like this certain chemical in the bread that's also in yoga mats. Oh my god. Uh, they can't technically sell their bread in, I think it was Scotland. They can't call it bread. Yeah, it's too much sugar in it. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. you talk to anybody from Europe, and Wonder Bread is like a dessert. Because yeah. so much sugar in it. Really? Yeah. That doesn't surprise me. <laughs> no, I, not at all. Yeah, it's all, it's all the kind of bread we eat here, though, is sugar. Bread. I'm actually going to make my own, try to make my own bread. He's, just because he, I can't. Hey. There's a lot of easy. We have, we have a, a fourth guest here. A fifth, technically. Fourth Even though fifth. someone's been very quiet over there. <laughs> <laughs> that was a lot of confidence in that one. <laughs> Welcome to the podcast. This is Emily. Hi. Yeah, she's been here the whole Hi. time. Hi. I'm here. I'm here for it. Miller Light, huh? Living that Miller Light time? <clears throat> yes, I'm living that Miller Life time. <laughs> They're like, damn it, I'm doing it now. You got, oh, you son of a bitch. I I'm, do doing, shit. I'm doing what you do. Don't do shit. <clears throat> anyway, no, the name, so you, you wrote down something else. Are you going to change the name of the podcast? Because I like Butterfly Hurricane. But That's also, what I wrote down. Yeah, but you wrote something else down, too. I can't remember what you said. Tuna, diluted tuna or something. I don't know. I dropped, I'm, I'm going to drop my boat. I'm going to lost my page. Hmm. I just wrote tuna DNA. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah, 20, 23 and me. Are, hey, keeping the story <laughs> theme along with the uh, the C theme here. C did you guys theme. hear about the guy that, uh, well, let's just say it was a whale of a tail. Fuck you. <laughs> what, what the fuck are you talking about? A guy got swallowed by, uh, I believe they thought it was like a gray whale or a humpback. Oh, his fucking name is Jonah and he lived 3,000 years ago? No. Yeah, no. yeah. This is a no, new oh, guy. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, shut up. That's the Bible. I saw, I saw that. No, no. But no, no. I was completely inside. Lobster diver swallowed by humpback this whale. Fucking off province town. This guy's fucking whales. <coughs> Damn, dude. Swinging some. Is that what's shoot. happening here? Some whale tail? Yeah, this guy was out lobster diving. Literally, is out diving. He started fucking stuff. whales. And a, a humpback came up behind him and pulled him, sucked him in. <laughs> and uh, he said, like immediately, he could feel to the his blowhole. No, no, through the mouth. It was eating the krill and stuff off the bottom in the shallow end. Oh, okay. Which is actually a newer behavior they've been seeing by whales recently coming in super shallow to get their food sources because they're so big. You know, even all the, the shallow ends got to be like high gone. tide. All the plankton's exactly. gone. Exactly. So they're coming in closer to the shore, which is like at risk to them getting themselves beached. And now they're swallowing shit like this dude diving for lobster. Jesus. Yeah. Damn. Because I remember. Like, is he dead? No, he's lived to tell yeah, the yeah, tale. Yeah, he lived it. He's like, fuck. The whale uh, of the tale. He was uh, not... So did he get swallowed, oh, or was it. he just in its mouth? No, he got sucked in. Yeah, but he got regurgitated, and whales don't puke, so... So, no, he said, like, when he got sucked in, he immediately he was just, like, 
real fast, like, oh my god, I, I've been eaten by something that was great. Why? How do you not know something's on top? But then he could realize, though, that he could feel the, the throat you, muscles you've on him. You've clearly never been on so the So he said the ocean. whale, like, he started punching, and the whale started shaking its no head. Shit. He could feel it, like, shaking its head around. No and he just kept fighting and punching and stuff, and eventually, so all of a sudden, he just realized he was, when he opened his eyes, he could see the light come into the water again, and just beeline to the surface. Interesting, because like the, the tail of wow. Jonah was, has been is impossible. Like the biblical tail of Jonah is impossible because of... Oh, he's he had a, in his stomach for three he, days. He had an oxygen cause, tank cause a, Because the throat of a whale is like this fucking big. Like, it's impossible. Well, like, the you Bible can't... says big fish. <sighs> so, it's a huge mouth. They can swallow a lot of big things. No, but the, the, the hole is this big, though. It's, yeah, it's very yeah, small. So you're only in its It's not a vagina. Mouth. It doesn't dilate when it's hungry. You're only in its mouth. <laughs> It's fine. Oh, so, so if it's it in his mouth, happened. sure. I, if it's in his mouth, sure. But it wasn't like that's what vaginas do. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're hungry. Yeah. They're hungry. Can you un- unhinge? Uh, my wife can unhinge her pelvis. Like a fucking piranha. <laughs> a snake. Yeah. Unhinge it's her pelvis. Tight. Yeah. It's like Jesus, dude. <laughs> it fucking makes that fucking noise. Well, she doesn't do it on purpose. Ugh. Do you like spread? See, there a bad and hip, just... or you are not dating a human. I'm very heavy. <laughs> I think he might be dating a piranha fucking in its mouth. I wouldn't say that about Jenny. I'm not going to confirm or deny you that. You just did. Work. Yeah, I don't mean to say that. No. I've met her. I know she's not a snake. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe, she, maybe she's a partial tongue. I don't know, though. She could be. <laughs> partial, partial tongue, my nuts. I'm sorry. <laughs> all right, I'm sorry. Just do it. All right, all right. So... Hanging for- <clears throat> Did the guy survive and is selling his story? No, he's fine. There's a picture of him with his thumbs up. He's just at the hospital. Like, uh, he came out just fine outside, just kind of being a little bit shocked out of it all. You know? Yeah, oh, shit. Damn. He did go to the hospital. But, but anyway, Lane, back to your... No. How do you not see it behind you? Have you ever been underwater? Uh, I don't really go to the ocean that often, no. I don't. You, you've been underwater? Yeah, and I, it freaks me out. So I could, like, I'm I constantly aware of like things around me okay. in the water. You've ever, ever worn goggles? Underwater. I know how dangerous the like I fish, you know, all the time. Like a yeah, fucking no, shark can come out of nowhere and eat you. I'm saying you can't. Or like, a your, your, whale. your vision is extremely limited with goggles on. Yes. Okay, so why would you ask? Why they? Why, how can you couldn't sense? Or whatever. I, I don't know. You still feel like I feel like you would know a humpback whale is behind you. In the shallows, like well, I hit the so hole. hole what up, the guy described was you know? so it sounds like this. He was digging around for lobster at the bottom. And the, the he whale must have been out by shot himself. up behind him. If you ever watch these predators or creatures of that size when they come in the shallows, it's usually real fast. They come in, they do something, and they suck back out, you know? Otherwise, that's like while that water and everything that you're pushing aside is still agitated and up in the air, or in the water in this case, you still have kind of like a, a, a wish out area where you can like push back out real easy before getting beached. So they'll just fly in and kind of glide huh. up, you know, grab and go slide back out. So this guy just said he just suddenly felt this pulling, and like before he knew, he was like in total blackness. Interesting, because I guess first thing if, if you're a you know an ocean person is riptide. I'm sure he thought you know I mean swim against it, or swim sideways, sideways like, whatever. <laughs> what do you, you swim with it? No, uh, you let it take you. Let it don't take fight you it because you're gonna you waste it. all your energy. But the point is, he probably thought it was riptide. Or, I mean, I would assume like if you're doing that riptide, actually, you know, oh no, nope. he got sucked in so fast it started like crazy. Like, I just oh, felt yeah? this sucking, and all of a sudden I was it was black. Yeah. He, yeah, he probably just opened his eyes and, like, <laughs> feeling. You could feel <laughs> fucking whale shit. Yeah, come on. I can't blubber. think of it. There's so much there. I can't think blubber, of it. Blubber, you know. No, fuck. Do you know what blubber feels like? I don't. He just got deep thrown up by a whale. <laughs> Basically. Yeah. <laughs> Dude's a legend. All right. Uh, God, that's fucking nuts, though. That was nuts. It, I, Does your girlfriend need a haircut? Because what we have someone here that can help you with that right away. Oh, is, it, is this our uh, second commercial of the night? It is. Shit. Shit! I wish my girl would get a haircut. I, I uh, sometimes when she needs a haircut, you just like shit, girl, get a haircut. Bitch, looking raggedy. <laughs> if you hey. don't want no raggedy end, I would send him to Garbo's with Emily Mahoney. She does the best haircuts. <laughs> Come on over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love it. What kind of haircuts do you give? All kinds. Good Any ones. Kind you want. The good ones. 
Yeah. All right. What mm-hmm. would you? How would you cut Derek's hair? Short. <laughs> shorter. Would, shorter. Shorter. How would she you, also does you Reiki energy hair? healing? <laughs> don't have hair. <gasps> <Yeah>. I don't. <laughs> Reiki energy? Is that what you just said? Mm-hmm. What? Yes. If you're feeling a little off, you can get your uh, aura and energy field healed. Mm-hmm. Wow. Straightened. Aligned. Everybody needs to be aligned. You look confused. Mm. You need to say something. No, I'm, I Sounds like somebody know. needs an energy healing. <laughs> <laughs> I can help you with that, you know. Garbos. <laughs> you need some help. <laughs> which well, gar- which Garbos is this? out of his ass earlier. <laughs> what? <laughs> they did not fall out. It got, yeah, I know. That, that, that was like ejected, forced. Distracted. Ejected. Yeah, forced entry. You ever seen a, a uh, you ever seen F sixteen eject pilot eject? That's what it felt like. Right. A yeah. whole cockpit? <laughs> yeah, I am a dude. Isn't, isn't that word just so weird? Cockpit. Yeah, I don't understand that, but whatever. I'm not an aviator, so <laughs> I hope you don't try to relate it to Garbo's because no, no, no. yeah, the, but Garbo's the, the is chair, where you get your the chair is like a cockpit, field. and if if you don't pay, they eject you to the roof. The, <laughs> they pit you. A cock gets pitted. Yeah. Is that what that happens at good. Garbo's? Pit no, I mean, you got to pay up. Yeah, those will eject you. Like, like the pump seat, it's like you gotta count. Like they don't, keep track. Those dudes do do fly. Hit, hit the here, bottom. And they raise you up. Like yeah. you know, a couple more clicks. You just yeah. That's, they go that's, five, that's how they good go they are. Pumps. They know exactly how many pumps. You're getting, getting cockpit. The You're getting cockpit. I know. One time I did hear a hairdresser say something like, "Was that five? And then she just put her foot <laughs> she down. Pumped like, she pumped it a couple more times just in case. <laughs> no, I think she was like, "Better not pump that one more time." I'm not sure what number that ended on. <laughs> Yeah. So, get your cockpit on. Go to what Garbo's. The fuck? That, that's not a good. Yeah, I'm sorry. That, that I don't, why did I get stuck on that word? It doesn't sound uh, good. Because John haircuts. Wait, is Garbo's, is, is Garbo's owned by? <laughs> no, I don't know what Garbo's is owned <laughs> Oriental by. Oriental ladies. What Garbo's are you at? Regency, right? Regency. Regency. Yeah. The only, the only good one. As for oh. Emily Mahoney at Regency Garbo's location. For energy healing and awesome cuts. Uh, phone yes. number. In colors. In mm. colors. Yes. What's the phone number there? 402-391-2333. Skedad. I can't tell if you're Skedad. doing that cool or if you've like forgot for a minute. I have no clue. Mm. It is. Actually, if I feel like I should redo my phone number now. I'll like. Mm. Clu- All right, fuck it. <clears throat> what else we got? Anyway. On to the last topics of the night. Derek, what else do you got for us? I know you got something else. Redneck rave in Kentucky of, no pl- no. <laughs> of all places, of course. I mean, you say that term, redneck rave. I would think it would be either Kentucky or Alabama, probably. Kentucky was a massive country music festival where the very first person that went through the gate with the cops uh, got busted for meth. Whoa, Somebody, surprise. I believe, in the first night had their throat slit already. Uh, they found lots of marijuana, of course, Christ. bottles of alcohol. The very first or the second vehicle they stopped. Uh, apparently, the cops when they stopped that very first vehicle said, "We were like, well, shit, this doesn't bode well for the weekend." <laughs> what? That's like a county. One fair. man ended up in sounds like a county fair. Impaled. One woman was strangled to the point of unconsciousness. Yep, this is a county fair. They arrested 14 people and charged over four dozen from five different states. They still don't various, happen. you know. Does this still happen? Like, can we get there in time? No, it's done. That sounds like a fucking party. That, that sounds like <laughs> gathering the juggalos. It was a uh, event organized by country rapper Justin Time. If anybody knows him, <clears throat> Justin Time. That sounds terrible. That's. That's like a joke. Oh, that does sound familiar. Is that a rapper's name? Yeah, Just but in time. Is it spelled th- country th- rapper. Is it spelled T-H-Y-M-E? He's also a chef. No, they haven't spelled it like you would think, Justin. Yeah. No, the time part. The T-I-M-E. Damn. So wait a second. Wait a second. I think Afro Man was there. Afro Man. Thank you, Afro Man. Thank you for all the artists who rocked out on the stage. Afro Man showing up will forever be legendary. Thank you to the police and fire department for working with us and to make everything run as smooth as possible. Yeah, except for the guy that died. <laughs> and the girl that died. The other guy that died. 
And for all the meth that was smoked. This just in time guy, he helped like organize it all too. He said it's the biggest event they'd ever done with as many people and random things popped up unexpectedly, but he feels like they handled it well. Jesus. Slit throats, wow. strangulation. He says for all the meth. Ne- all the negative Nancys will put a complaint box by the Porta Johns. That's the that's, fuck you just. What I think they this? only had two whole staff running the whole thing. Wow. Jesus. Yeah, and they were quote unquote overwhelmed. <laughs> of course, <laughs> they were expecting twenty thousand people there. Fuck. Jesus Christ. And they got two people staff. That's not true, right? Outside of like the police like presence for like the, the making sure shaking out the hand or whatever. Yeah, it sounds like they had two people running everything. Probably just doing a ticket booth. It's like you get in, go to the ticket line, and that's all you got. On the official uh, Redneck Rave Facebook page, which is considered a ah, gaming cock. video creator, they uh, describe it as uh, mud music and mayhem. Ugh. I don't know. I kind of want to go. <laughs> yeah, but did they tell the STDs in that show? Lots of mud, music, badass trucks, women, and plenty to drink. Well, I'm in. <laughs> <clears throat> That sounds pretty sweet. I'm not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Let's do it. All right. Hmm. Well done. Um, that was a pretty like tame podcast, considering. I don't know. It seems like the most like organized and less yelling. I don't know. N- new location. I guess new location. It's the gray walls. We, we took calming. took a few breaks. Well, it took us a while to get started. I'm not, even technically. I'm not super drunk. So, uh, what do you have to say about John McAfee? Sucks, but he's a hell of a, hell of a character. You think he killed himself? Ah, I don't give a shit. <laughs> I mean, if he's, being, if, he, if he's being extradited... A lot of millionaires and billionaires killing themselves. and <laughs> If he's being extradited extradition. for tax, you know, but it's like... How he was, much he was going to get pay? charged with tax evasion. Yeah, but like, what other stuff are they trying to pin on him? That he would kill himself over because, you know, he's got money. I mean, he just didn't want to go to jail. He didn't have to go to jail. He was already in what? jail, though. He's been in jail for a while. No, he was in jail in Spanish. In Spain. In Spain. <laughs> <laughs> in Espanol. In El Prisono. In Espanol. Como se dice? John McAvoy. <clears throat> in Espanol. Well, Catalan. That's Catalan. Uh, yeah. Spain, yeah. Uh, McAvoy. Uh, Catalina fucking wine mixer. Catalina fucking wine mixer. <laughs> I gotta run 80 copters by the end of the day. All right. Uh, but I mean, John McAfee was more of a character than anything he wrote. I mean, he, he sold. It's brilliant. Uh, it's brilliant. He, he sold a, a virus. Antivirus. Antivirus that was itself a virus. You think? It's bloatware. Like, I mean, McAfee, McA- nah, McAfee antivirus is dog shit. Yeah, it never it never really fixed the problem. We always had it on our computers you... growing up, so it came automatically. That right. Everything yeah, got. that's genius. And it's... we still got viruses nonstop. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's something to make you feel better. Like, oh, I have McAfee. Why am I getting viruses, you know? Yeah, but I mean, but in itself, it fucked the computer up. But it, it's brilliant that he was, able to, he was able to sell that to Microsoft to, like, have that contract, which is brilliant. And then he went down to Belize and had hookers shit in his mouth through a hammock. And it's brilliant. I mean, what a, that that's, like, the perfect arc of a life. I guess. You're over there, right? What? I, apparently you're not agreeing with me, so you no, I don't about know. that? I don't know. I'm oh, yeah, he got so bored with his with sex stuff that you pay these hookers. To he went to the, Belize. Yeah, well, South Northern America. Island of Belize, yeah. Whatever, South American hookers to basically shit through a hammock into his, into his mouth. Into what? his mouth? Yeah, he laid on What the hell did you read this about? Dude, it's a, it's, it's a known thing that he's been doing. Well, was doing. He's dead now. I mean, it doesn't sound like it's known because we didn't know about it. Yeah, well, you, you know, know about this, Emily. <laughs> I'm very interested. Though. I'm intrigued. I mean, <laughs> you, you, when you're that when that rich, you run out of stuff to do. A la Epstein, you run out of stuff to fuck. So let's do something weird. Well, fortunately, he <laughs> went with scat instead of kids. So that's that's better. In my, no, in my opinion, no. Shit, getting shit in the mouth is Jared, better than banging a kid. Last night. They're both pretty disgusting. I'm not gonna <laughs> say either of them are better than the other. So, so you're telling me right now, you would rather have sex with a kid? I'm not saying that. I think he said he'd rather not do shit in the mouth. mouth. I would rather not get shit or have sex with a kid in my mouth. Yeah, all. but if you're a bored billionaire. <laughs> You gotta get something. If fucked I was up a bored billionaire, what is your decision, John? Because you clearly thought about this. Oh, I do the shit in the mouth. That's fine. 
You're fine with shit in the mouth. That's fine. Yeah, even if it's been like French it's fries with a mesh of like. It's totally cool with it. Yeah, that's, that, that, that's, that's fine. Like, it's, 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 even you know, if it's you know, like a nasty ass fart shit that well, you Well, I'm sure it's like, you know, a gua- You prefer a, it to be a nasty the, the fart. The diet shit. down there, I mean, all the peppers and, you know. I, I would like to get, like, yeah. Giardia like, shits. <laughs> some sort of. Like Guardia shits? Like Guardia shit. Guardia shits. God damn it, the Guardia. Ugh. I want some. I want a shit anyway. straight from Dwarpa, you know, just. All that Indian food, curry and stuff in there. That's if I'm gonna eat a shit, that's what I'm gonna eat. Okay, I'm you, probably still probably taste, straight up. Probably tastes like yellow curry. I mean, shit. Oh yeah, no, I prefer red curry. But you know, yeah, what's if it's red than, though, you, you don't know want. What's, you don't want. You know what's more. better than red curry? Brown so, brown curry. Because you don't know how many times it's been curry and how many times it's been Good shit. Lord, well that's that's gross, dude. You know what? You're gross. See you that step too far. Making me go that. I'm that was at 12 right? oh, I, took it, I took it to 12 Way to go lane Gross Yeah this isn't my house Go See ya <laughs> <laughs> Got me Get <clears throat> the anyway. fuck out of here Do you think Do you think he killed himself? Not enough information right now Like he, clearly I, Epstein I, I, didn't kill himself Yeah I think Considering that The lack of Yeah he probably Derek, fuck, fuck, he's like Derek, 70. Derek, what do you think? Did he kill himself? Or is he set up? I think he did kill himself. But I think there was something going on that he was aware of and he wasn't ready to do. He was he was hiding something? The government went way too hard at him for whatever they were claiming, tax evasion. Like, yeah, he could so, yeah. so many rich people fight tax evasion in court and win. Yeah, because the government's IRS is not well funded enough to go after them for that. It's a very valid. If that's point. literally what the government was after him for, did that, they've spent more money than they have on any of the rich person combined since nineteen. Yeah. Did they get Capone on t- tax evasion? Yeah, I, I yeah. thought they did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Al Capone, um, but he didn't kill himself because of it. No, no, no. Syphilis did that. Yeah, he got syphilis. Uh, yeah, yeah. We also syphilis. have to realize though that McAfee is. Fucking loopy as shit. So he, he may have talked himself he into. He also has syphilis. <laughs> Fuck. Maybe. Be, I mean, it wouldn't surprise me. That shit would make him go insane. Do you get syphilis from eating shit? You want to find out? No. Uh, you know, so I'm, I'm sure he, he may have talked. You know, the, the when when the act of of suicide is very spontaneous. You know, it's very rarely planned out in advance. Well, it's very valid so he point. could have gone. You know, wait a minute, is this? Wait, I'm is going this, to this, United this, States tomorrow. Right, you know, he could I'm have, gonna get fucking going to sit to could jail. Have just snowballed, and he's like, peace. I got a fucking knife in here right now. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I'm already. I'm guilty. I'm gonna get charged. You know. Well, whatever. We don't know what John McAfee thought, but we all know what he thought of antivirus. He thought we should pay him he was for a fucking money maker. Protect the antivirus. So. Um, I'm glad he killed himself. Oh, well, that's pretty fucked up. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad Epstein killed himself, too. Wink. Wink. So you would have a fucking kid and get shit in the mouth. No! You just said wink, wink, you're glad Epstein's dead. Were you on his books? No, I'm just winking the fact that he didn't kill himself. He's got a yeah. fly in his eye. You got yeah. a fucking fly oh, yeah. in my eye, Also, man. You, you see the, like, the updates on Epstein where it was like confirmed that he was a, a U.S. operative? No, I haven't heard that. Yeah. Yeah, he was an actual informant for U.S. operative. U.S. informant. Well, so was not Justine. Not Israeli, as everyone thought he was, because Jews. So who was he the informant on? No, I don't know. He was a informant for the U.S., probably gathering information on... Well, for who? No, for Christ. He was employed by the U.S. government. For, yeah. To spy on anything and everything, it everyone. sounds like. He it's was still, British still royalty. Out. But he was, still spying on, was, was he was spying on presidents and everything. Yeah, so, I mean, still coming up. Well, Clinton. One that wasn't yet, but... And also, well, another one that wasn't. Yeah, one anyway, that was. Yeah. Anyway, that that could be a whole motherfucking topic. But Trump I think, uh, was the other president. Yeah, he was. We know, Derek. We know. <laughs> I'm just laying out the facts. Well, that does beg the question, though. Was conspiracy fact? Is Trump Casey Kasem? All right. It, Trump is definitely Casey Kasem. Wow. What a great top twenty. I'm Casey Kasem. No, or, or Donald Trump, or my Donald Trump. No, it was also. Oh shit! We didn't even get it. Was guns. doing Casey Kasem is Donald Trump as Tucker Carson 
asking Carlson. Carlson asking. I'm asking, Donald Trump. Is Casey Kasem? Yes, Donald Trump. That was the joke from the last podcast. <laughs> I know, but okay. like, but we didn't talk so about the, hashing the po- Okay, are, are we done? Are we gonna keep talking? Oh, yeah, we're, the, are, we done? are we done? Are we done? Is well, it done? Is I, it over? I, I, I want to talk to Dan about the whole bumps. The um, sorry, the, the Guns. brace thing. Dan ain't here. Maybe Dan yeah, can no come shit, on. Dan's, Dan's dead, Thursday. baby. Maybe Dan Dan's can come dead. next Thursday and talk about guns. Yeah, maybe because it's a very bad precedent they're trying to set, which is terrifying. Who? U.S. government. With what? With, with braces. Braces? Pistol braces. I don't know what you're talking about. Exactly. That's why is, I don't want to talk about it. Is there no like a new law? About it right oh, now. you just like a little, little fucking tease for people out there. Right, but the point is, the, 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 the law they're trying to enact is, one, you will be able to tax everybody a lot for what guns they already own, or make it illegal, or the issue, the issue buy, is yeah. the precedent they're setting where they can just change the laws for all what you already have and then they can either take it from you or tax you for it. Oh, so say if they, go, if they go, all of a sudden they go, okay, every every truck, every pickup truck has an extra, you know, $200 tax because it had some, it's a pickup truck. You know, well, if you don't pay a tax, now you're a felon. Yeah, that's fucked up. Especially with guns. Right. That's the whole thing. The whole thing guns is if you have... I can see that for new guns. Base, ah, shit. Sorry. <clears throat> Basically, if you have a short barrel, a short barrel rifle, you get a $200 tax stamp. What qualifies a rifle is three points of contact. When you have bump stock... You know, sorry, I can't say bump stock because that's a very hot issue. Um, stock, grip, foregrip. Well, with the brace, you wrap it around your hand. That's the idea. That's what's designed to do. So you can shoot one-handed for disabled veterans, right? That's what it's designed for. Oh. But let's be fucking honest here. No one uses it. It's a it. fucking bump. It's, it's a fucking stock. Yeah. You can you can take it. You can use it as a stock. So the point is, any barrel under fourteen inches is a short barrel rifle. Two hundred dollar tax stamp. If you possess one without the stamp, you're a felon. They're trying to make the grips, or sorry, the braces, <coughs> qualify as a stock. Therefore. Everyone that has one is now a felon because they don't have a they own it without the stamp. That's the precedent they're trying to set, which is terrifying. Well, and that's just like the first step to exactly. A lot it, of it, other, it's, it's a foot in the things. door of real, you know, and, and it doesn't. It's not just guns. It's not it has nothing. I mean, guns is like the, the kind of the doorway of of infringing on crazy shit. You know, it, it, it just hits a bad precedent that gives me the willies. That's all. Don't but, take my guns away. Right, cold dead hands. That's what you're trying to say. Well, I think it's probably Colton. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so I think it'd be something to talk cool about Dan. Luke. Dan. Cool hand Luke. Yeah, talk to Dan about it. Yeah, let's get Dan on next week. Yeah, so let's talk about Dan with that. <clears throat> he just got his concealed carriage. You, you knew that. Yeah. All right. I was. I called him to go to tactical. Go to education. But next week. He wasn't feeling good from your trip. Shoots so. his bows. He likes shooting bows more than guns. Right, but I, I don't yeah, care. Like I'm going to shoot that gun. So. Yeah. Anyway. Well, anyway, I think we're... Anyway. Yeah, I think we uh, well, um Talk some trash next week with Dan, apparently. At the gun show. Or thanks, fucking Kenyon. Thanks, man. Emily, for joining us. Yeah. Or Kenyon. Thank thanks you for not me. joining us. You're welcome. Thanks for coming. Fucking having a pregnant wife getting put in the hospital. Yeah, Ooh. whatever. What priorities, a, what man. A Come on. Douche. Fucking priorities. Anyway. Seriously. Whatever. Fuck it all up. Do um, you have an outro for this, or is it just like... No, the outro is kind of uh, always changing because... You turn me down. You turn me down, you son of a bitch. Peace. Turning you off now. Turning you off. Hey, fuck you, Derek. Fuck you, Lane. Fuck hey, you, John. Fuck, fuck you, John. Goodbye.